In our last video, we showed you how to get your account set up to use the Parameter Service. In this video, we'll explore how the Parameter Service is integrated with Revit. To start things off, let's delve into why using the Parameter Service is beneficial in your Revit workflows. Using the Parameter Service, you can define and express the intent of your parameters clearly, find the parameter that you need easily, and clearly see what parameters are already loaded in your models. Here you can see the benefits of the parameter service compared to the existing shared parameter file. The definitions in the service are rich and include default instance versus type, category selections, and property palette group. As these are only defaults, they can be overridden whenever they are loaded, should the default not fit every situation. The structure of a shared parameter file is rigid with only groups to help you organize your definitions. The service lets you organize your parameters into collections, add labels, and save your searches. In Revit, loading shared parameters is done one at a time, making it time-consuming work. With the parameter service, you can load any number of parameters into your project at a time. Your shared parameter file can live anywhere, be copied, there can be multiple files, and you need to keep track of all of these. With the parameter service, your account's parameters are all stored in one place, making parameter management much easier. The parameter service also provides access management. You can share your parameters with collaborators, and you can easily use standards in your projects. Speaking of access management, the service adheres to Autodesk Construction Cloud user roles, account admin, project admin, and project member. See this table as a handy guide for who can do what. Account admins can do everything. They can access the service in ACC, they can create parameters and load them into projects. Project admins can still add or edit parameters and load them into projects, while account members can only browse the service and load parameters into projects. If you are setting up your account as an account admin and you don't want your coworkers poking around the service just yet, there is a revit.ini setting to disable our service. See our help documentation linked below the video for details. Back in Revit, you can see the difference in access levels. Admins launching the service from the ribbon will be in manage mode, similar to how selecting the shared parameters button only allows you to manage your shared parameters, but not load them into the project. In this window, your admins can add or edit parameters in the service, singularly or in bulk, set up save searches, label parameters, everything you need to do to manage your parameter definitions. A project member launching the service from here will only be able to explore the service. They cannot create or edit parameters. We will explore all the ways to populate the service in our next video, but for now we will work with a parameter collection that is already populated. To load parameters into your Revit project or family from the service, Simply look anywhere where shared parameters are added to your project and look for our new Add Parameters from Service button. Starting with Project Parameters, I'll launch the service. Looking at the status column, you can see that the parameters in your collection are in one of three states. Ready, in model, or missing data. Ready means the parameter is ready to load into Revit with no extra work for you. It can be loaded in just a few clicks. In model means this parameter is already loaded into the active project or family. Missing data, this will include a tooltip for what data is missing. While this data isn't required for the parameters to live in the service, you'll need to specify a value when loading into Revit. This data is the same for any shared parameter. You'll need to specify type versus instance, what categories it belongs to, and what property palette group you want it to display in. Note, you may see a difference in the status for a parameter when loading it into a family as category does not need to be set, but I'll address this again when we look at a family. For this project, I'll select a few parameters from ready and missing data at random. Note that the parameter already loaded in this model cannot be selected a second time. After selecting the parameters I want, I hit confirm settings. This page lets you override defaults on parameters and specify any missing data prior to loading into Revit. Any changes on this page are not saved back to the service, they are only applied for this download. I've updated the values on a few parameters that already had values set, 
And once I set the missing values, the Add to Revit Model button becomes active. Once I hit the button, the parameters are loaded into Revit. Loading these few dozen parameters only takes a few seconds. This clip has not been sped up. In Revit, there are tools to search through loaded parameters, filter loaded parameters, and hovering over parameters will display a tooltip. Included in this tooltip is the parameter name, what type of parameter it is, whether it is project, shared, or from the service. If it is loaded from the service, it will also specify what account it came from. You'll also be able to see its data type and description, if any exists. While adding descriptions wasn't always the most useful practice in the past, we suggest making use of them now to add notes to make the design intent clear while both browsing the service and while using these parameters in Revit. Working with families is much the same as working with a project. If you go to Family Types, you see our usual tools for adding parameters along with a new button for Add Parameters from Service. Selecting and adding parameters follows the same workflow with one change. You do not need to specify a category if one is missing. The service will assume that the category of the family is the correct category binding. Other category bindings will also be ignored. If the parameter is loaded into a project and a family is added with the same parameter loaded within it, the project's definition will still be respected. This is the same way shared parameters work now between projects and families. As you explore how to use our service, look for our icon anywhere where shared parameters are loaded, such as in schedules and tags. In our next video, we will explore how to add parameters to the service to populate your collection.